voters across Montana and America holding their breath to find out who will win and where our country is headed. Well, here in Montana, even with record setting ballots already returned today and tonight, long lines as thousands of Montanans chose to hold out and cast their votes on election day. We begin our team coverage at the epicenter of this election in Yellowstone County, the pavilion at Metro Park. Q2's Mitch Leggy has watched the process and a lot of patience play out all day. Mitch, what's the mood like over there now? Well, Ross and Janelle, everybody kind of just standing in line over here at the Montana Pavilion. As you guys said, election day is in fact upon us. As you can see behind me here, there's plenty of people that are still waiting in line to cast their ballot. Now, the line to vote has been stacked up since the polls opened around 7 a.m. this morning. Now, the line at its front wraps around inside the Montana Pavilion, and its end at this current moment wraps into the fairgrounds parking lot if you're a little bit familiar with the Metro Park campus. Now, these people who are waiting in line are either waiting to register to vote or to receive a replacement ballot. And uh, I've been he out here since about 2 p.m. this afternoon. Judging by how quickly the line's been moving, it's going to take well over an hour for people at the back of the line to be able to cast their vote. Now, plenty of voters have also been bringing in their filled out ballots to the Metro Park Pavilion down here. Uh, those people can, in fact, skip this big long line and just deposit their ballots directly into the ballot box. Now, uh, the Metro Park Pavilion is also the only place that Yellowstone County voters can be registered to vote on Election Day. And people with those filled out ballots can drop them off at one of 12 uh, ballot pickup locations across the county. Now, uh, as of about 4 p.m. this afternoon, 79,000 voters had turned in their ballots. That's 8,000 more votes were cast in this election compared to the presidential election in 2016. Now, the polls across the state close at 8 p.m. sharp tonight. Election staff at the Metra will be placing one person at the end of the line to prevent more people from coming into it. Now, turnout was at about 77 percent on yesterday, and it's only expected to rise as more results come in tonight. Well, Mitch, this is certainly an election like none other in our lifetimes, at least with the COVID pandemic. What have you noticed there today? How has that changed things? Well, Russ, everybody is trying their best to stay socially distanced in line, I believe. Um, as you can see behind me, some folks may be foregoing a little bit of that six feet distance, but there are a lot of family groups that are uh, hanging out here in line. Uh, and also, many people are wearing masks. That's what I have noticed. A majority of people are wearing masks, and uh, masks are required to get into the pavilion to cast a vote. And uh, last I checked, election staff still had some masks to hand out to folks that didn't bring one along today. All right. Thanks, Mitch.